Stay right there in your easy chair For 30 minutes of pleasure Don't you go, it's more than the show It's the talk of the desert It's the talk of the desert with Belinda Reed I just love coming home at night I turn around, she's a treasure Everyone and everywhere I go the now, here's Melinda. Well, we're celebrating the 27th annual gala for the Desert Symphony coming up on April 9th. And I have to first stop and, and just introduce our, the new mascot, the Talk of the Desert. Her name is Melina Bethany Reed. I just adopted her a couple of weeks ago. She's a border collie. But part of the reason, as I wanted to introduce her, because she joined her brother, Francuzo, is because Francuzo is already a member of the Symphony Sammy um, segment in the um, program book for the Desert Symphony. And so Melina Bethany will be joining <laughs> Symphony Sammy and Francuzo in the program book. And joining me is the president of the Desert Symphony, <laughs> Nancy Tappet, and the founder of the Desert Symphony, Marilyn Benikowski. And before she screams in my lap, <laughs> I have a check to pay for next year for the program book for the two of them, for oh, Francuzo well, thank you and for Melina. Much. Thank so you. So thank you, Melina. Oh, thank you said that it came out of your piggy bank, right? Didn't yes. it? Yes. Okay. I think we're going to let her down right now. But she's only five months old right now. So we've got a long ways to go, but we'll get there, I think. Like Francuzo, we've got... Francuzo's eight and a half, and Francuzo's very calm, cool, and collected. And he's curled up at Nancy's feet right now, and she just knocked my ear earring off. Anyway, welcome, ladies. Let me put my, my new daughter down. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to get that over with because I knew she was going to be well, a handful. thank you. So. You're the first thank one you. in on Symphony Sammy oh, this year. Oh, yeah. Yes. And for the next season. For, for 2016, season. 2017 will, season. Yes. Thank Good. you so much. Good. Appreciate yes, we'll it. have to get you a photo to include in the program. Yes, but definitely. Yes, definitely. so anyway, well, welcome back to Talk of the Desert. We've got the gala coming up on April 9th. Yes. And, but we also have one more sh of the symphony shows on April 7th. I can't believe you're doing two symphonies in that sh shorter period of yes, time. Yes, that's the way we do it. That's the way it goes. You don't yeah. get any sleep at like no, I haven't I had any don't. sleep with I this puppy. I just roll over and to just <laughs> keep on trucking. <laughs> That's right. That's exactly. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Now, because you bring most most of the musicians from L.A., don't you? Yes. Yes. Now, do they go home and then come back, or Some they say? Actually, it's funny you mentioned that. I just got three emails from them, and they say we want to stay over, so we're adding to the economy of the valley. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> so some good, of yeah. them are staying over because I yeah. love it here. Palm well, Springs weekend. Well, yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay, well, let's talk about it. In chronological order, um, on Thursday, April 7th, is Piano Man. Yes, yes. it is. And that Piano Man is going to be a wonderful concert because the gentleman that's uh, created Piano Man was with us a couple of years ago when he portrayed Elton John as a tribute, and he is wonderful. His name is Craig Mar, and he has added in a Billy Joel uh, tribute artist. And so with those two combined songbooks, Elton John and Billy Joel, you can just imagine that Pat McCallum will be rocking no joke. that night. No joke. And backed by our wonderful orchestra, yes, 65 piece orchestra with lots of pieces added in this time because of their uh, compositions and their arrangements. And Gary Berkson with the baton. Yes. We're going to be really. And he's going to do the whole show. The first, or is it, the, or is the piano man the whole show? The whole show. The whole show. Oh, really? There's okay. So much that repertoire. Two yes. songbooks like that. It's a whole show. It's a whole. It, and, yeah. And, and maybe yeah. three shows. <laughs> but we have to leave. So. Yeah. <laughs> but Darn. anyway, it, it's it's going to be incredible. Yeah. Terrific. Now so. we only have a few seats left, right? Well, yeah. There's still a few seats left, okay. and and. Uh, you can get them by calling the McCallum Theater box office at 760-340-ARTS. And, uh, or you can go to our website, and there's a direct link. And uh, it's, you know, we, I, I must say that this has been such an exciting year for us because everyone has loved everything that we've put on stage this year. Isn't that and fantastic? And the excitement has built and built and built every single time. So... We were just delighted that we were able to choose so carefully and that everyone accepted everything that we chose. 
And next season, I can't reveal it now, <laughs> we can come back and do another show. Yes, you, you're welcome back anytime, okay. you know. <laughs> but um, our next season is just as lively and just as entertaining. And, you know, it, it's really funny. We are the Desert Symphony, but what we do is the pops. Mm -hmm. So don't let anybody dissuade or be dissuaded by the name The Desert Symphony because we know how to do the pops and we do a great job at it too if i say so myself <laughs> and you can't say that president of the desert symphony <laughs> nancy <you>. tapic yes. <laughs> that's good i concur yes and you can care, concur marilyn that's good okay so you've got just a few tickets left for the piano men but then your gala is coming up on uh april 9th yes and let's talk about oh, okay oh <laughs> marilyn's already got the sign yes. up it's neil sadaka yeah. i mean that's definitely from my era there's no question about that well but he he just transcends every era because people are always singing his songs they they know them they know the words and besides some of them actually came from some classical pieces they did mm -hmm. well what are some of the I uh, so you know, let's you can't, see. Can't remember. Right I now. can't remember. That's right okay. Now, I know, but at the time, what he used to do was take the theme and turn it into a popular song. Yeah, as musicians always say, well, I know those eight notes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And They're after in there 16 someplace. measures, we come in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So, no, it is the, the, the exciting thing about Neil Sedaka is that, you know, he's, all, he's been to the McCallum many times. However, this time with the symphony, He's very excited because most artists that have symphony charts do like to sing with a symphony every now and then. And the charts are lush and wonderful, and he's wonderful, and it's just going to be a super, super night. But the most, one of the most exciting things about it is our honoree. And our honoree this year is Harold Matzner, and he's receiving our Amadeus Award. If there's anyone in the Valley that really deserves to receive the Amadeus Award, it would have to be Harold. His philanthropy and his love of the arts and the love of the live arts and his contributions to the theater that make that theater such a beautiful place that we're privileged enough to uh, rent and, <laughs> and be there uh, and be a part of in, in that capacity um, is wonderful. He's chairman uh, of the board of the McCallum, isn't yes, he? Yes, he is. And he loves the theater. That, that theater really, we are so lucky in this valley to have such a jewel box. It is. And it really is. And I know. And I like to say the Desert Symphony is one of the crown jewels. Oh, I love it. I love it. That's cute, Nancy. Yes, <laughs> it is. Well, no, I mean, I think any community would be thrilled to have a facility like the McCallum Theater. And that, fortunately, you can rent the facilities to yes. hold the symphony there because yes. it really is the best venue here. Uh, it is. It's a wonderful. It's, it's not too big and it's not too small. And, uh, and all the artists love to play the McCallum Theater. Well, it's, it's, okay, I've spoken on the stage. I have no talent except for talking and listening. Right. But um, there's an intimacy about the McCallum that the performers love, that you feel like you're a part of the audience. Definitely. And it's, you know, when the founders put this all together so many years ago. And I think they're at 28 years and we're at 27. We're right, right behind You're them. Behind. But uh, they really had foresight in what the community would need and how it should be built and how it could really become such a great theater. And it has a very high ranking throughout the country as one of the best theaters mm -hmm. in the country. So we are really, really lucky. We really are. Very blessed. I we like to are use the word. Yes. Blessed and, and the Desert Symphony is blessed to be able to uh, play our concerts there. We, okay. we like we that. Have, it has a state of the art sound equipment plus state of the art people who work it. They have a very wonderful crew backstage. They sure too. do. And uh, Mitch yeah. Gershenfeld really runs a tight ship, doesn't he? He does, and he's got a great staff. And he's got great people backstage. And, you know, it, it's funny. I, sometimes I think when we walk out on stage, everybody thinks, well, isn't that nice? Everybody's here. But what goes into it <laughs> is, is amazing. Right down to the, to the uh, you know, our valet staff is wonderful. Our docents, the docents there are wonderful. The, um, all the people in the, who do the carpentry and the, the guy that loads everything in and takes everything out. You know, there's so many unsung heroes there, right. but they're 
really a wonderful, wonderful staff. Great, they are. Great theater. They are. Now, um, what happens on the gala on the actual day? Tell us about it. There's dinner before the show. Yes. The gala is our fundraiser. It's our major fundraiser of the year. And uh, we have dinner at Cuisto and at Wally's uh, for a ticket price of $500, which includes a premier ticket to the concert and a, don and a taxable deduction as well. And then for sponsorships, there are those that choose to be sponsors and to honor uh, Harold um, upstairs in the Founders Room. And that's going to be lovely. That's going to be catered by Lavender it's Bistro. And it will be a wonderful evening upstairs. And uh, Harold is very excited about mm -hmm. receiving this award. And of course, he's been honored a lot this year. But I think this one is really, everyone is special. Mm -hmm. But this one probably is just maybe just a little bit special because he's the chairman of the theater. That's right, exactly, yeah. it is. So. And so, and, w and where do you call to order the tickets for the dinner and the show? I'm gonna give my personal number You out. are, I'm Nancy, honest. oh wow. <laughs> well, if you wanna speak to me, you can call 760-895-8747, <laughs> and I'll actually answer the phone. You will, will yes, you? Yes, I will. <laughs> and, and uh, you know, that's how you can get the dinner tickets. And if you just want a ticket to the theater, you can call 760-340-ARTS, and there are tickets on sale for just the concert. Okay, but with the dinner, one of these wonderful restaurants is yes. $500. $500. That's per person. Per person. Per person. Yes. Um, but how much are the tickets if you just want to the show? The tickets start at $77. Okay. And they go up to... Uh, two hundred and two dollars. Not seventy-eight dollars, seventy-seven dollars. Well, you know, there, there's a little thing called this facility facility tax. A facility use use fee. Yeah, yeah which is a tag on tickets. And so we have to put two dollars on everything. So where our tickets used to be seventy-five dollars, now they're seventy-seven. We don't get that two dollars, but that goes to maintaining the theater. Right. And all the you know, times have changed, and. Oh, they, they need to do a lot more for the public than they used to. And that is in terms of security and facility uh, preparedness upgrading and upgrading. And so it's, it's a fee that they needed. Every ticket sold at the McCallum has yeah. that fee on it. Yeah. Now, we didn't say that for Piano Man on um, April 7th, that starts at 8 o'clock. Yes, yes, it does. Yes. And the, um, for the gala, I get, what time does, does the dinner start at the dinner different restaurants? Dinner starts at 5.30. Okay. And the concert starts at 8. Okay. Yes. So the concerts, both concerts are at 8 o'clock, yes. the dinner for the gala starts at 5.30. Yes. Now, for the gala, it's not, quote, black tie, but you want to go, people come dressy? Some people get really dressed up, and I mean, you know, this is the desert. I, there's so many ways you can say a desert uh, attire, tire, <laughs> or um, desert casual, or uh, what is the other one that they use? Uh, cocktail. Cocktail. Desert cocktail or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Desert cocktail. Yeah. You know. yeah. So yeah, just or come as you are. Right? <laughs> well, I well, don't know maybe. that with clothes. That might not work <laughs> with clothes. <laughs> of course, yeah. yeah. We don't. Well, play. it's a special night, yes. you know, and and people I think realize that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, because the funds from the ticket sales through the season do not cover all of the expenses that it takes to. For the expenses of hiring musicians, mostly from the Los Angeles area, professional musicians to come in here and to make this music as best as they possibly can. That's correct. Yes, and what's amazing about our orchestra is that we only have one four-hour rehearsal. But we do have the best of the best players in all of Southern California. They're from Local 47 uh, up in Los Angeles. And uh, they play, if you watch Dancing with the Stars, if you're watching Geraldo, uh, you know, <laughs> dance. Uh, some of our musicians are playing the music for him. Darn, I miss that. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, sometimes I miss it too. It's probably but, on YouTube. But. Yeah, probably. <laughs> A lot of them are also the music for the movies. They do all yeah. the movies and they have a special studio doing That's all of that. Many of them. Do. And they're studio musicians. I mean, they, yeah. they create the CDs and, you know, it's... it's they're great, great, great musicians. Mm -hmm. They're professionals. They're at the top of their craft, and they're sensational. 
We love them. Well, we and they did, love playing with us, too. Oh, well, and Gary, Gary Berkson, the uh, music director, is fantastic. Yes, 30 years with the Royal Swedish Opera and Ballet. And uh, he's been with us this, this start, well, six, finishing six his year. sixth year. And, um, has it been six years? Yes. Man. And it has been six years. Oh, wow. We're, we're fortunate to have Gary. Yes. And he's really taken everything up a notch uh, in his what he chooses. He's got great selections for the, uh, for the gala. Terrific. Great selections, yeah. Terrific. Now there is going to be, for the gala, because we talked about Piano Man's, the whole show is the two pianos. Right. Um, with a break in the middle, right? Yes. Yes, okay. And then for the gala... We are doing the, the first The half. first half is the symphony, symphony. and the second half is, is Neil Sadaka. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, terrific. And Neil has a fantastic songbook as well. And he's doing all his hits. And he's just. I would hope so. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. No, he's doing all his hits. Good. And, and he's cute as a button, and he's just as peppy as when we saw him on American Bandstand. <laughs> so he's great. Great artist. You're, you're dating yourself, I remember. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, it's on YouTube. It is on so. YouTube. <laughs> Almost everything's on YouTube. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, we're going to take a break. We'll come back. We're going to talk about the continued uh, season, of uh, the 27th season for the Desert Symphony, and we're going to maybe give us a little hint about what's coming up for maybe. next season. Just a little hint? Maybe. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thanks, Nancy All and right. Marilyn. We'll be right back. She's the talk of the desert. Don't touch that dial. Melinda and her guests will be right back. You can always see something extraordinary that inspires you here. It captivates, thrills, and delights us. That's why the McCallum Theater is so special. Here you can see award-winning Broadway musicals and plays, sparkling performances by the biggest stars, and all the best from the world of music, dance, and comedy. So come, join us, right here at the McCallum Theater. Did you know that the Palm Springs Air Museum has been ranked by CNN Travel to be one of the 14 best air museums in the world? In your own backyard, a world-class treasure awaits. Have you visited the Palm Springs Air Museum lately? Experience the Palm Springs Air Museum for the flight of your lifetime. Now let's go back to Melinda and the second half of the show. We're back celebrating the 27th season, which is almost over, of the Desert Symphony at the McCallum Theater. And uh, Nancy, uh, going into the break, I was talking about that the, we're going to talk a little bit about the season coming up, which is the 2016, 2017. Yes. Is that yeah. unbelievable? It's like it's been 17 years since Y2K, huh? That's true. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. It's true. Anyway, so, okay, I know you can't say anything until the pamphlet for the McCallum comes out sometime yes. in April yes. of what specifically who your shows are. Yes. But can you give us some hints of oh, some yes. things? Okay. It's the 28th season of the Desert Symphony. <laughs> yes. We will have a gala, and that will be on April 1st. Okay. Oh, April Fool's, April, April Fool's Day. April Fool's Day. <laughs> but Gary had the best saying of all. What? It's something for everyone. Remember when he said it? Yes, there's something, something for, for everyone. everyone. That's right. And it's Ovation 3. Okay. This season was Ovation 2. Right. It's Ovation 3. And we're doing the pops again. And... Um, there really is something for everyone. And I don't want to say something old, something new, but something... Something, something borrowed, something blue. No. <laughs> some <laughs> things that we have shown before or had guests before that were audience favorites and they're coming back. Some really new ones that people are really going to love and a super duper artist for our gala. So stay tuned. We're on the last page of the program book, of the uh, booklet, when it comes out. Season tickets will be on sale beginning of April. If you like your seats and you're a season ticket holder, call in quickly and get, get your order in. If you weren't a season ticket holder, but the last time you went to a concert, you really liked your seat, call in and see if it's available for the season. <laughs> And um, I, I really think that everybody's going to love our season. 
some one act in particular we have been asked to bring back on a couple of occasions and they are coming back and that's all I can really say. <laughs> Does that help you? <laughs> it's like the blind leading the yeah. blind, isn't it? Well, you know, I have to, you know, we have to play by the rules. I I know we Mitch has previewed uh what they have on. They didn't tell everything. No, he didn't. And um and he said you can't tell. So I have to respect that. And absolutely, so you I have to. Can't so. tell. But the booklet should be coming out in the mail sometime. Very shortly. It, yes. In middle we, of April or? No, uh, I think beginning, the of first, April. beginning of first April. Week, beginning of okay. April. Do you realize, I mean, we're, we're, we're recording this, whatever date this is, March 20, I don't know what day it is. Anyway, but we're almost April. Yeah. yeah. It is. Yeah. So well, I want to tell you Is that what it is, Lorraine? Right? Yeah, to March 22nd. That we are going to repeat next year. We are going to have another event at Perch. Oh, you are? Yes. Let's talk about that. Well, it was a wonderful event. You yes. and you and uh, Tom were there. And uh, they have agreed to, to, they loved our group, which was great. And uh, we're, we're going to have another dinner there done by the executive chef, Mark Root, and uh, Jim Murdoch, who is the uh, coordinator of that property and, and that business. And it's going to be fabulous. It'll be around the same time in February. And, uh, you know, we're really excited about it. So that we're doing, and then it, we will have that's another. A, that's a fundraiser for the Desert yes. Symphony. Fundraiser. And it's a dinner that's held at Perch, which is a home the improvement store. Upscale. Up, very bathroom, upscale. upscale. Bathroom, yes. kitchen, and patio design center. Yes. Oh, okay. Thank yes. you. You're welcome. Uh -huh. But it's, it, it, was, it was just terrific. Yeah, yeah. It, it was. It was great. We had uh, uh, a wonderful music entertainment and a great silent auction. Everybody loved it, and so we're going to do that again. Good. And then we will have another salon concert like we had last, uh, last year at my home. And uh, I'm not sure that it will be at my home again, but uh, if someone generously offers their <laughs> home, it will be fun. But uh, we will have another wonderful artist, and uh, our music director will put, Gary, will put something together for another wonderful evening that's a fundraiser. And, and those things help us promote our children's programs. Right now we're working on a, a children's program with the city of La Quinta for the Boys and Girls Club. And Gary will be doing uh, two, four, two or four, is it two, two or four? Two programs for the Boys and Girls of the Boys and Girls Club of La Quinta. So excellent, yeah, yeah. Because you know, I remember going on field trips. I don't know if they do field trips anymore in schools. Oh, they you know, do. They but do. you know, to to the symphony to find out what the etiquette was and how you handle yourself and to do the appreciation of the music. And it was so important yeah. as a child. And my it goal is, is a, a full concert for the children again. That's my goal. Good I haven't you, let up on that, <laughs> and I haven't either. And we're we're still where where my, I can see the little thermometer of money going up toward it. Excellent. So, Good for you. Yeah. Good for so, you. And, and we love to do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, there's nothing like it when the children walk in to the theater and they see all those musicians on stage and they become so quiet and so attentive. It's a beautiful thing. There might be a violin virtuoso in their group, huh, Marilyn? Oh, there will be. <laughs> you know, we've had many violin virtuosos uh, start or, or perform with us when they were either in the Coburn School or, or um, where else, Marilyn? It was you mostly the Coburn School. Mostly. And most of them, I would say about mm -hmm. 75 to 80 percent of them are concert artists today performing all over the world. Wow, fantastic. Yeah. I mean, we've had Sean Lee was one of ours, Elizabeth Pitcairn. Yes. Jennifer Frouchy. Jennifer Frouchy. Uh, Sarah Chang? Sarah Chang was not with us, no, but she's playing. Uh, she's Amy playing. Wickman. Amy, and yeah. And Amy played with us at one concert. She did. She was so scared. I, I was so <laughs> proud to introduce her that she was actually sitting in with our orchestra yeah. that night. And I brought her up front stage, and she was like shaky, like, oh, you know. But poor thing. we were so proud to say, yeah, this is one of the students that we showcased so many years ago. And here she is as a member of Local 47, sitting in with the, our orchestra tonight. 
We're very proud of that. No chill. You know? No yeah. chill. Really. That's wonderful. Well, yeah. you remember you were there with the very first little one that we did on, on the show. Yeah. I was. He was 10 years old. <laughs> and of course, Umi Garrett. I mean, Umi has done, she was, we found her on, on uh, Ellen. Ellen DeGeneres. And here she came and played with us twice. And she has won competitions worldwide. Fantastic. And she's about 16 years old now. Fantastic. Beautiful young lady. Great talent. Well, we've only got a couple of minutes left, ladies. Yes. And we want to remind everybody of the two shows you have left for this season, for the a 27th day apart. annual. <laughs> and what? A day apart. A day apart. <laughs> you guys, you guys are crazy. Uh, anyway, um, the, we've got Piano Man coming up on April 7th yes. at 8 p.m. at the McCallum. Yes. And just again, who they are? The music book of Elton John and Billy Joel, the two incredible legend tribute artists. And then you've got the gala on the April 9th. Neil and Sadaka, yes. which will be incredible, honoring yes. our, oh, you've got it. <laughs> our own Harold Matzner. And this is really, if you love Harold Matzner, you have to be there. It'll mean so much to him. It, yeah, absolutely. Yes. Well, as we talked about, he's he's the chairman of the board of the McCallum Theater, and yes. I mean he's involved in so many, as you said, Everything. philanthropic things here in the desert. Really. He does Wonderful. so much for this valley. He's such a true, true philanthropist. Yes, and let's uh, phone numbers again: seven six zero three four zero Arts for tickets. My personal number, if you'd like to go to dinner. <laughs> are you coming, are you inviting somebody for a date? Well, Wait, Charlie won't be too happy about no, that. No, no, no. Well, let's not put it that way, but if you're interested in being part of our gala at one of our wonderful restaurants, or as a sponsor in the Founders Room, 760-895-8747. And the restaurants again are? Wally's and Cuisto. And then the and the sponsor is, is in the founders room is the is Lavender Lavender's Bistro, Bistro. okay, yes. and that uh, both shows both on the seventh of the night start at eight o'clock, but the gala which starts with the, at the different restaurants at five thirty. Yes, did I get that right? Boy, you got, got right excellent. on. Well, right if you on. talk about food, I'm there. And I you know, know you'll be there. Uh, you thank you. Will be. Will be. Yes, you thank you. And uh, congratulations on season number 27 coming to an end. Unbelievable. True. And we'll look forward to getting the McCallum brochure in the mail for season number 28. Yes. And the Ovation 3 series. That's, we get, maybe we're going to Ovation 4 series for the 27, we could, 28 we could. We might. <laughs> I'm I mean, sorry. You have I'm, a good thing. I'm, I'm teasing you too. <laughs> but anyway, um, thank you, uh, Nancy Tappick, the president of the Desert Symphony, and Marilyn Benikowski, the founder of the Desert Symphony, for joining me again on Talk of the Desert. All the best for everything. And, and thank, thank you, you, Melinda. Thank, thank you, you for Melinda. everything you do for this valley. Thanks, sweetheart. You're thank a great you. girl. And thank you, audience, for joining us. For more information, email TOTDTV at questoffice.net and visit talkofthedesert.tv on the web.